Good afternoon, everyone. Kenyon Classic Cars here in Clarence, Iowa. We are proud to present to you this 1949 Chevy Tin Woody. Now, this car has been frame off, restored, and it is absolutely beautiful inside, outside, under the hood. This car is one of those cars. Somebody spent $250,000, $300,000 on this car to make it look like this. And you're going to buy this car at a fraction of that price. This car is capable of going to any car show across the country and winning a trophy. This car has been multiple good guys, event winners. This car has won multiple shows. Best of show at a 900 plus car show last fall. This car is absolutely splendid. It features a 383 cubic inch stroker engine. Has power steering, power brakes, vintage air conditioning. Quick fuel carburetor. This car is black, it's beautiful, it's straight. The wood on this car is just phenomenal. The steel wheels, the caps. Everything about this car is just 100%. This is a car that you'd see at Barrett Jackson bring $250,000. We're not gonna ask you for that much money for this car. But it's certainly worth it. All the stainless on this car is brand new. All the chrome is brand new. Has a Fat Man independent Mustang 2 front suspension on it. Tubular upper and lower control arms. It would probably cost in excess of $50,000 to paint this car and make it look like this. Just look at the chrome on that front grill and bumper, headlight bezels, everything's been all redone. Now this car would have said Chevrolet across the front, but they knocked that down, took that off when they restored this car, give it that nice smooth look. The engine on this car was a built by Snelling Performance out of Texas. I think it dynoed, it dynoed at almost 400 horsepower. Um, it's got a 700 R4, TCI Street Fighter transmission with a 24 2600 uh, stall converter in it, um, which this thing goes down the road just awesome. Just give you an idea how nice that wood actually looks in this car. Check out that interior. Has a Dakota digital dash. There's your vintage air conditioning. It's got the cup holder, which this console and cup holder could stay or go. That'd be up to the New owner, cruise control, all the headliner and the interior wood was all redone. It's got a, a three two, it's got a three passenger rear seat, two passenger second seat.
which is kind of a rear option. And you can actually take the second seat and put it in the back if you wanted to have a three and a two instead of a two and a three. This car is just really something special. It's just a great car. There's all your wiring, your fan controls, and the glove box. Everything's tucked up nice and neat. Car just looks spectacular. Inside now, car does have door poppers on every door. Look at the quality carpet they put in this car. Quality carpet, quality floor mats. This car was just, just over the top. We have a lot of nice cars, but this is probably by far the nicest car that we have in stock right now. I just been itching to take this car to a car show because I know it's gonna win. I'd sure like to. Look at this thing, man, this is just a beautiful car. You got your spare tire, you got a jack in there. You got your surfboards on the roof. You're ready to go surfing. I'd be glad to point out any flaws on this car, but I really can't find any flaws on this car. So other than a little bit of speck of dirt here or there, it's just in beautiful condition. Aluminum radiator, it's got a Schumacher standalone uh, battery tender on it. Um, this is how you want to buy them, folks. I got the booster pack on this car because the battery was low on it. Nice, all your vintage, your AC lines and your heater hoses all plumbed through the firewall. But like I say, folks, this is how you want to buy them. You want to buy a car that somebody spent $250,000, $300,000 on that you can buy for half price or less. This is it. And these wagons, folks, these, these cars are really starting to come on very strong. Me and my family were out cruising around yesterday, and I think I met five old wagons in a row. Of course, not one of them compared to this car. We've seen an actual 49 or 50 wagon yesterday. My wife really liked it as well. The whole underneath this car, too, is just, just awesome condition. It's just over-the-top built. Look at that back door, isn't that neat? Now that steering wheel is on this car. We do have a new steering wheel we will be putting on and I apologize. I forgot to put that steering wheel on before I took this video of the car, but we're only human. We make mistakes too, so. The door is open to shut. Very nice. 